be a leader, I don't think it has to be this huge thing. Like, you don't have to be president to be a leader. I think it could just be you acting in small ways that reflect good morals and make people feel good. Everybody needs a leader to look up to. You really just need to have, like, the ability to want to connect with people and maybe share something you're interested in. I think about leadership. I think about being brave. It feels very, very good. I really like it. It's just who you are and inside if you want to improve others and help others in any way you can. I think that being a leader is just absolutely fantastic. So we like, we read to our buddies. They have books that they read to us. And they're like, we pick books that are like just right for them. I feel like a leader because we're teaching the kindergartners how to read and we're making them stronger readers. The job is you, you help people recycle and it helps walkers get money. It's not like everybody comes at the same time, but when people come, you just tell them where to put the trash. It's really great to like help the environment and help other people do this. I like being a leader because it, is it's important. I'm a member of SAIL, and SAIL is an acronym for Students Acting in Leadership. It's a club where a group of students from each grade, they come together, basically help our school become a more warm environment, and we kind of have student leaders that help do that, so the teachers don't always have a say. Students feel like they really mean something in the school. It's a very long process, but it, at the end, it's really great to know that, like, I was the leader. I made that happen. Like, we did that. Being known as a leader, people know that they could come to me. They know that they have like a safe person to talk to. And maybe sometimes they may not feel co as comfortable going to the guidance counselor. Maybe they just need an extra peer to talk to. So they just have another person that they could talk to. And I know my friends certainly have shown that. Let's get it! Oh. Here we go, here we go, whole line down there, whole line down here. Personally, I believe that it really goes about role modeling, and it's really taking that extra step to be that figure that people look up to, rather than just being somebody motivational and being someone on the football field or in the classroom or anywhere that you're going to be telling people what to do. I think it's really all about how you conduct yourself and your behavior in general, because that's what people look up to. I think it's really beneficial to me and the others how I can pass this skill on to others and I can just be that role model that always spreads my joy. In volleyball, mentality is a big thing. As one of the captains, I have to really try to pick up mentality and keep everyone positive because that's a very hard thing in volleyball. Well, I would say you don't have to always be the loudest person in the room. I was very quiet growing up and I never, like, I never thought of myself as like being a peer leader or a mentor and I thought it was out of my reach. But then once I like joined sports and stuff, I actually got into leadership and I, it's not something that's gonna come overnight, but it's something that can be developed over a few years. And I think it, I'm still, being a developing leader, I'm not perfect, but I'm really trying. Show me that you're ready and listening. We're gonna practice again. On the Student Leadership Board, we meet three to four times a year. What we do, really just geared towards having discussions and learning from others, and then we've been working towards developing ways in which we can bring back what we learn to the community and help broaden our community, Byron Hills as a whole, perspective on what culture proficiency really means. I think that learning about you know, different cultures and how to accept each other and diversity even within our school, I think that a lot of those ideals um, are very important to bring back to Byram Hills and I think that I use them in my interactions with other people and trying to be as accepting as possible. Really just the job is to be a leader in the classroom and teach them um, the academics of chemistry, but also outside the classroom as well as a social figure. So I have this two-part role where you're a leader outside the classroom and inside the classroom, and so they can look at you as a role model in both respects. In my eyes, being a leader means being a role model, 
and inspiring others while also setting a good example. So it's the way you conduct yourself and carry yourself in everyday life. For me, the best feeling ever is when they do really well on the test and after they visit you in office hours. I had a student who was like getting C's and he came into office hours and for an hour we spent like going over the homework, going over his project for this particular subject and on the test he got an A. And when he got the A, he like literally celebrated and everyone was like, relax. Like for him, it really didn't come easy. And so just moments like that are honestly better for me than myself getting a good grade on a test. Just seeing the happy expression on other people is sort of why I like to lead. I knew coming into high school a little bit about mentor, but then when you get into mentor as a freshman, you realize that all your mentors, like all the mentors, yours and the ones in other classes are really well respected kids like around the school. I think leadership shouldn't turn off like the second like you leave the school. I think it's something that you really have to conduct in your everyday life. It really speaks in the moments that you're not being watched and it speaks in the moments when you're not being looked at under a microscope, but kind of how you conduct yourself in every day. And sure, people may never see those moments, but leadership shouldn't be something you like try to um, force. It's in those moments, that's how you become a leader. I've been trying to kind of lead my entire life so having that ability, having the spotlight on me in a class of, I have 24 kids, so having them looking at me for a 55 minute class where I get to kind of share my experiences with them, I absolutely love it. The opportunities I get uh, for leadership with Mentor, it allows me to hopefully create other leaders in the classroom because when they see me as a mentor, they see everything I'm doing for them, for the other students, I want them to then say, maybe in four years, I want to be in that position or possibly right now. I, I want to hopefully create mentors, peer leaders. Being in an official role that people look up to you really like, makes you feel like a leader, especially when you're at a party or in the hallways and they might be having a bad day or they, had a, they got a bad grade, they could come up to you and you could say, from my experience, I know it's not the end of the world. Like, you could still be successful, you could still do fine. And you, and because you're seen as a leader, you make them feel better about their circumstance. I feel like a leader, like in my grade, that people look for me, you know, just like look up to me, but also in like the sophomore grades where we, the kids were teaching, you know, it's like, it's kind of cool connecting with them. They like look up to us too, you know, just like for advice or just like how to act um, in and out of school. And I don't know, I feel good about myself, like when they look up to me or they ask me questions. Junior year. Um, I started taking leadership positions in clubs and teams, and it's been amazing. It's been a big part of my high school uh, career, um, being a president of Bobcat TV uh, and Student Serving Soldiers. Byram Hills is really their, one of their central focuses um, is to create leaders, and I think they do a really great job of that, making sure there's a lot of clubs that have leadership positions and making all these senior leadership programs like Peer Leader and Mentor and ChemTA that allow for the students to have a leader all the way through. It takes time to really develop that characteristic and become a leader. You have to really look in those around you and follow in the footsteps of the leaders you've seen. How do I make like an impact on people? Instilling them with curiosity and challenging them to reach their potential. It's a feeling I can't describe. <laughs>